I am gaming. I am gaming. I am gaming podcast. Hi everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest episode of I Am Gaming Podcast. This is a podcast about the video game industry, entrepreneurship, gaming nostalgia, and many other things I see as a part of the same unified realm. This episode is going to be all about a really practical tool I recently discovered online, which is completely free and very awesome. And it's not going to be anything about why you should use it or what your end goal with it should be only the mechanicals of the same tool that can allow you to make Twitter bots. Yes, they can allow you to create simple designs that will post on Twitter automatically. Now, I'm a huge fan of Twitter. I've been using it since 2008, if I'm not mistaken. And I have always looked for ways how to optimize its use, how to reach a larger audience and figure out any and every way you can actually employ the same tool, which is really popular, to gain better results. Of course, Twitter bots are one of those means. However, usually creating a bot on Twitter is super hard and demands things like knowing to program, having a computer that acts as a server, and many additional elements that I simply don't have in my toolset. However, there are also numerous websites that offer a chance to create a Twitter bot on their platform. However, most are either paid or pretty shady in terms of what you actually get and who is supplying it. Let's not forget, most who use Twitter bots are people or entities that are actually doing it to spam other users and force them to see their tweets or get other elements and benefits that will at the end allow them to make money. That is why the whole domain of Twitter bot making is something that's a bit of a gray area, especially when it comes to the Twitter terms of service. However, I found through sheer luck and a lot of Googling, a service that is neither of those things and which allows you to create bots cheap and quick. By cheap, I mean completely free. So this website is called cheapbotsdonequick.com. The link is in the description below. Now, what is Gbots Done Quick actually all about? Well, it's a website that you access and then connect your Twitter account to. From there on, you create your bot using Tracery. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's basically a version of JSON string where you input a set of data which the same string or a modified programming language uses to create generative and auto-generated messages, which then you can tweet out automatically. So you have a simple set of commands. All of them are explained clearly in the actual website or on the actual website, which you employ to create a set of inputs. This set of inputs is then used or multiple sets of inputs are used to build tweets. Every time a tweet is built, or you create a timeline for that tweet to be sent out, let's say every six hours, the string reads the messages, then pushes them out on your Twitter account. Basically auto post them or automatically post them on your Twitter account. It's super simple and it's super awesome. You can use it to create anything that is verbally generated or verbally based, but also a lot of things that are visually based. So check out some of the amazing Twitter accounts that have been made using Cheapbots Done Quick, which auto-generate things like deserts using text art and many more super cool things. I'm not going to tell you how you should use this tool. You should think about your own venture, whatever it might be, and see if there is a space for the same possibility. Now, a few things. You likely can't use links, you can't use a lot of hashtags, and many other things that will actually allow your tweets to become more or less spam. Instead, you need to figure out how you can use this tool, at least in my perspective, creatively, and then through that process, potentially gain whatever you're looking to get if you're not into only your artistic expression. In my case, I'm using my Twitter account that I created for my book on overcoming procrastination, where I'm going to write, I started writing, I'm going to continue write different messages 
and open questions about wasting time in hopes of getting new conversations or actually getting in touch with people who respond to me and then I take over the conversation on Twitter as me, as a real person. But the cheap bots done quick setup will be used, I plan to use it, as a way of reaching more people on an automatic basis. That doesn't mean spamming out my link to the book, even though the link to my book is in the description of the actual Twitter account, which is cool. Instead, it should be used to simply boost my Twitter engagement and my Twitter reach through no direct activity of my own. We'll see how it goes. Right now, I'm simply making these messages about wasting time, procrastinations. Sometimes they're in the form of questions. For example, things like, to waste time is to be anxious. Do you think this is true? On other occasions, it's going to be things like, wasting time is all about emotional setup and emotional outlook. So a simple message. All of this is tweeted out every six hours, but you can also tweet out things every 15 minutes or even faster. Or you can tweet something out every day. So a single day tweet is all you push out. Anything and everything is possible with bots done quick. There are plenty of options for you to use, especially if you're, for example, an indie game developer who is creating something narratively based. You can use the setup, you can use tracery to actually create forms of small narrative snippets that are automatically generated through the input you leave in. This is a powerful tool. <laughs> it's a really interesting tool. It's a completely free tool. For some reason, I never heard of it. I think you should get a lot more attention for all the good reasons. I even got in touch with people running it. We had a great first contact. They're clearly humans and want to help out, which is awesome. So a big, big, big thanks to everyone who is maintaining and keeping Gbots on quick up and running. If you're interested in things like this, you're going to get really blown away by its functionality, its simplicity and accessibility. So if you ever thought about creating Twitter bots or using them for something, start with cheapbotsdownquick.com. Link again is in the description below. It's a great service and not so well-known service that should be different. And I'm doing my little part in giving them a bit more attention. That's all for episode 48. Thank you so much for watching or listening. My name is Ivica. This would be a perfect time to subscribe if you didn't already. Continue returning every week for new episodes and maybe new tools and new ideas about your ventures or video game industry or everything and anything in between. Of course, don't forget to check out my Patreon page and check out all of the cool people who support me on Patreon in the description below and see their amazing ventures. Again, a big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and a big thanks to you if you consider becoming one. Until my next episode, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.